from Isaiah 61, verses 1 to 7. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. Peace, my name is Sophia Dawson. I'm a visual artist, believer, mother, activist, and organizer. And we're here at the Bishop von Bedford Gallery where you're looking at some of the paintings from my current project called the To Be Free Project. The To Be Free Project is a series of large-scale paintings and portraits. And um, the focus of the paintings is to highlight different individuals from the Black Panther and the Black Liberation Movement who are still politically incarcerated for their activism back in the 60s and the 70s to this day, actively fighting for their freedom. The inspiration of the project started in 2010. I was in an African-American history class and um, my professor basically introduced me to the Black Panther movement via a documentary. And I was also shocked at how many people died during that movement wrongfully and how many people were wrongfully incarcerated and that the fact that there were still people locked up um, in prison from that time up until the time that I saw that class, it blew my mind. And so it went from me romanticizing this time period to really writing letters to folks who are politically incarcerated, to going on visits, to connecting with their families and friends who are now my mentors. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn. Here in this show, these are all free-handed. And, and then I add layers. So like, usually you start with just a portrait, then there's some collage. Usually the collage is taken from letters, from texts about the movement, from newspapers from that time period, from biblical scriptures that inspire me as I do the work. I also have been adding diamond dust, black glitter, asphalt. When we met Sophia, before even seeing any of her work, just hearing her story, her passion, and what her work was about and the cause that um, she was supporting with her work, um, we were very intrigued, very excited. Um, and we thought it was also a way to tell a story that's very relevant to what's going on right now um, with things like Black Lives Matter and, and Colin Kaepernick's protests in the NFL. So I'm gonna break down this Colin Kaepernick portrait. This painting is called Take a Knee and um, it was done in layers. So lately I've been doing this thing called canvas collage. So I painted his portrait using acrylic paint. The portrait happens really rapidly, usually like two to four hours. And then after the portrait, I started to collage this moment from 1968, from the 1968 Olympics with John Carlo and Tommy Smith when they were giving the Black Panther salute during the national anthem. We have to remember that history repeats itself. And so because they did this Black Panther salute in solidarity with the struggle that was happening at that time, they received a lot of backlash, similar to what Colin Kaepernick has gone through over the past, over a year now, over almost two years now. Our first impression when we saw her work, um, aside the fact that they're stunning, right? She, they're visually stunning. When you start reading the letters and, and you see the, the detail that goes into um, the work, it's actually very like, you, you gotta take a step back and take a deep breath because it becomes very real. When I first started really learning my history, I had this anger and animosity towards a lot of things because, you know, so much gets swept under the rug. And then when you start to learn about like what's really happened and the struggle that people, your ancestors have really gone through, you know, it can cause you to be very bitter. Some of the women that I painted, they were, they miscarried while they were being detained because the police officers handled them so, so roughly. And then I realized that I couldn't make work out of hate. I had to make work out of love. And so God is the, the ultimate source of love. He loves unconditionally. And they shall build the old wastes. They shall raise up the former desolations. And they shall repair the waste cities, the desolations of many generations. The reason why it's important to showcase these political prisoners and to showcase their stories um, is, are because we are benefiting from the struggles and the, the battles that they fought 
back in the 60s and 70s. I'm hoping, you know, not just from this show, but in general, that the work will, I guess, inspire people to, you know, be committed to struggle as these individuals were. And I hope to inspire people to look into their stories and to learn about who they are for themselves. Struggle is an ongoing thing. Um, fighting oppression is an ongoing thing. Um, there's, there's always a war that has to be waged. And so it doesn't make sense to like the normal human mind to say that painting somebody who's been locked up for 40 years is gonna get them out of prison. But that's literally what God told me to do. And so all the work that I've done is just an act of obedience and it takes great faith to do such work. I feel like this is just the beginning. Like this is my first assignment and when I complete it, then I will learn what he has in store for me next. So it, it's a cool journey. For your shame, ye shall have double. And for confusion, they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore in their land, they shall possess the double. Everlasting joy shall be unto them. Amen.